M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So, did you know if you've got the RT3S model GPS, you can actually show up on APRS FI. Now, it's not an APRS radio, but it is a GPS radio, and then it will use Brandmeister's system to get you onto APRS FI. So, I'm just going to show you the settings on my co plug here. So, normal RT3S GPS co plug. Let's just do one thing at a time. So, the first thing I did was created a zone and called it. APRS, you don't have to do this, but I just find it easier. So you just right click where it says zone information, click add, and then when you get that window, just call it APRS. Okay, you've got somewhere to put the channel that you're about to create. Now go to channel, right click channel, click add, and we get a new channel come up and double click that new channel and at the top name it APRS. Then put in the frequency of your hotspot or the repeater you're going to use, probably hotspot. So it's a simplex hotspot mine, so I've got that in there. It's digital. Um, I've changed the timeout, but I probably didn't need to. And the power, so if you're outdoors, you want it nice and high, don't you? But anyway, um, if you're at home, no, keep it low. Then you need to create a contact. Now, the one I've seen from Retivis is, is 460999 private. So I'll tell you why you have to do this. So go up to contact list here, digital contacts. Remember, these are all your talk groups and private group, private call numbers. DMR is basically lots of phone numbers and your number is your DMR number and the rooms and, the, and all that have numbers. So we're going to add a new one. So click add, double click it, call it, I've called it the same as the actual number, APRS, and I've used the number 460999. And it does have to be a, pri a private call. Okay, now it's telling me I've already done that. So I'll double click the one I've already done. 460999, private call selected. There it is there. So you've got the contact. Now, now go back to our channel. So channels here, APRS. We've already got the window open. So here in the contact, select the contact you just created, which is 460999. Once you've done that, then I just use color code one and repeater slot one, digital, I think I missed anything there. Now go to back to your zone, double click APRS zone and put the channel in there. Just by when it was here, if I select it, put it back where it was. It was here and you just click, click it and then click add. And I've put it on both sides, A and B band. But if you want, you could add something else uh, as well, so you could listen to on the A band you'd have APRS, and on the B band you'd have your uh, your favourite channel. But remember, when your favourite channel is is busy, you probably won't get APRS. I mean, you can put it on slot one on slot two and one on slot one. So I say APRS is on slot one, and then your channel is on slot two. Then maybe you will get it. So I haven't tested that yet. Okay, so we've got the channel created and the zone. Now let's have a double look at the channel make sure there's anything I haven't ticked right so in the channel the other thing I've ticked is send GPS info receive GPS info so just here I have ticked these two boxes I have selected GPS system one here as well okay so that's fine now let's go to see this tab here at the bottom it's called GPS system so here this window here let's just click this one out so you can see it clearly GPS, I've just gone to G tab number one and I've selected GPS revert channel as APRS and then default GPS report interval. That's when if you want auto and I have selected 240, but you don't have to, you can select it as off. But that one's, well, it is important if you're active. Yeah, so the interval, then the destination APRS ID. So I've selected the contact that we created as well, which is 46. 0999. So we've, we've created the channel, we've put it into a zone, Just double click that. There's the channel, there's the zone, we've gone into GPS system settings there. So far as I can see everything's ready. So now just go program and write that data to your radio. The next thing we need to do is we need to go to our Brownmeister, log in, yeah, that's my account, click self care, and then here you need to decide what you want to send out. So I've just got a little man icon there at the moment. The interval again is up to you. Let's do that quite high. Select Chinese radio. 
English, and then I've just for the testing, I've put in M0FXB6 as my number. You decide. And then I've put in Retivis RT3 as Andreas, and then save that, because you want to know that you can, that it is you, and so I've changed that. Now, the next thing you need to do is go out with your radio and transmit, but you do need a GPS lock. So I've transmitted here, and at the moment, no lock, but it does say DMR data. So something is working right. So as soon as, as, soon as I get a lock, we will uh, put in M0FXB, go back to GP, APRS FI. We'll put in M0FXB-6, hit enter, and then with a... Although we do show up here what was showing up with my, when I tested my Elinco DJMD5, which actually works in exactly the same way if you're setting that up. So let's uh, wait for a lock and then we're going to come back with some video when we've got a lock. Another thing to remember in your code plug is go to the general settings tab here. Then go underneath that, go to menu item and look, see this window here. Select GPS because you do want to make sure that your GPS is turned on. So look, just see it there, look like a little tick GPS. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just a quick one here, I know it's a bit dark out here. We're trying to get a GPS lock on the RT3S MD380. We managed to get one now. You see the little planet up there. So we're just going to go menu, show you how to turn it on. Go down to GPS, GPS set, and then we just turn it, moves it down to number one. Then we'll go info. The first one says nothing, but if we go up one to that, and I don't understand the, is it B U do that one there? We actually get our location there. So I'm not sure if it'll go blurry if I get closer. There you go. So there's our live location. So that works. It says satellite lock, and if it doesn't, if it isn't locked, it says unlock satellite unlock see that and what we're trying to do is show up I've already put the channel in for APRS FI now it's not an APRS radio but it will use Brandmeister to get your location there so and also we could actually send a location message not really sure how to do that uh, just try it messages inbox sent drafts so yeah but that's for another video, I think. But I just wanted to show you that you can do it. Let's go back. Go menu. Utility. Radio settings. That's what we've got. Can't see anything for GPS, to be honest. But there you go. Bye for now. 7 3. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Hope that helped you set up your APRS FI detection on your RT3S, MD80, MD390, and other Chinese budget DMR radio. Bye for now. If it's got GPS, this should work on any of the budget Chinese radios. Bye for now.